So we out here. We were supposed to come out here and try to see about a pet adoption or whatever. And I just knew that Sam had talked to the people and they said, yeah, come on. We just saw some shit online and we just out here. Y'all hear all them damn dogs? From D town to H town, you know that I got you, girl. Know that I'm gonna love you forever. It's my town and your town. Now that we're here, we gon' build this empire together. When you smile, I smile. As long as I got you, I'm gon' make sure that you smile forever. You're too down, I'm so proud. No matter the weather, we gon' pull through the storms together. You're my queen and I'm your king. You're my love, my everything. You have my heart and yours with me. I'm feeling like it's destiny. Hola. Buenos dias. Leave shit up to Sam ass. She wanted a dog, y'all. So yes, but <laughs> we can't find another dog. So shit, you gonna get him off the corner or you gonna go to the dog place? One of the two. This this not a miracle though, where we can just walk into adoption spots. Why we can't? Why we can't? I don't know how this works, Buenos then. Dia. This might not work like a miracle. Message. And they, they said, they I sent them a message and they sent me the directions and the hours. Oh, okay. You know, I'm going to do my big deal because yeah. I, but I don't have a point of contact or nothing like that. Buenos dias. I think it's down there. There are many dogs that made it down in the, in the town, out in the no. street. Oh, no, I don't want a dog from the street. <laughs> Other dogs, Homes. A person. We want a smaller puppy. 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 No, New puppy. puppy. Yeah. Miguel say go outside on the street <laughs> and get a dog. Yeah. No, thank you, Miguel. We want a baby dog. <laughs> No one want no damn dog off the street. You get a dog off the street, they don't know how to shut the hell up. What? You hear this shit? Don't make no sense. What damn noise? Shut up. What did she say? No, what did she say? Okay. I'm going to say. Okay. Oh. So the lady came to the gate and Miguel told him, told her that we wanted to adopt the dog. And she said, okay, give us a second. And she walked away. So I'm hoping that she comes back and we get a chance to go inside at least. I hope not. She's gonna bring us a dog. We're like, here's a dog. Here's your dog. <laughs> The size of the dog, uh, no worry. Uh, if tall, no, we want now, now it's a baby, but in the time, are going to. We, we want a dog that's like very uh, small. Ah, okay, small. A perrito, pequeño. a little dog. Mm. No, no strong, no, no more strong. <laughs> Um, Miguel, how much is it to adopt? Six. You said what? Sixteen. Sixteen hundred. So eighty dollars. Okay. I like a key. Oh. Yeah, he's so quiet. So nice. Mm. Hi, do you like me? Yeah, I like you. I ain't heard you yet. I like it. What are you doing? Yeah, I want that one. Mm. So what do we have to do? Um, we want that one. What do we need to do? What do we need to do? 
the same the required requirement. The, Just they have to come to our house and see our house. See, see. For now. You can come in. Oh, I can come in. Okay. Why do Why do y'all keep? I mean, why does he have to be inside? I'm just asking. I just want to. Because wanna... they are puppies. They are finishing their vaccine. Mm. So uh, they are adjusting to all the dogs. Okay. So we have them free. But okay. still not mixed with the other dog. But he is healthy. Yeah, okay, I'll come in. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh. Oh. Okay, I like him. I'm in love. I'm in love. Around four months. Okay. So if you, you can adopt them already. But uh, with a promise that you are going to bring him in around two, three months. So we can spray him on here. Okay. Look, I had to let him know. Talking, Good job. She was talking shit. I was. I was like, where the hell he got us at? A place with all the dogs. So I will we'll tell y'all in the first. Let's get some sanitizer. Would you hand this, please? Couple. Gracias. Yes, yes, yes. Gracias. Gracias. A lot of doggies. A lot of pedos. So what happened? Okay, so I had to, you know, tell Sam, good job for finding this place. I was a little skeptical at first, but you know, we had Miguel to help us out. So that was cool. So we went in there, it was hella dogs everywhere. They even had cats in there. And we they just started barking and shit. I was scared, I ain't gonna back, lie. Back to Casa Uno. Yes. I am not gonna lie, I was a little, a little timid at first because I'm like all these damn dogs but they was so friendly. we walked in they was like all free like they was all running up on you so like if you if you was a faint of heart you was gonna probably pass <laughs> out in them blood because but they was all loving like they all just came up wanting to lick you and play like they weren't trying to do that yeah crazy. I think they was just like barking because they didn't know us first off that's what dogs do like they don't know you they for sure gonna bark at your ass but once we was in there for a minute all they wanted to do was lick you and like Jump on, <laughs> Jump you, on you and, and wagging you know. their tail. So they know we they know we come with love. They know we love the animals. You know we'll never hurt no animals or do nothing to no animals. So they they ain't had nothing to worry about with us. So um, what happened? Okay, so what happened was we were um, we looked around and we was looking for. They was they just asked us like, what type of dog you looking for? A big dog, small dog? We like yeah, we want something small. Y'all know we got Drizzy already, so we wanted something a little bigger than Drizzy, but not you know too, too big. big. Yeah. <laughs> So um, we were looking at all the dogs and we saw a few that we liked, but then I saw this other little like container and I was they like, had, it's a lot of little dogs over there. They had a little closed off little section with the fresh puppies that, you know, just too, came young, too young to even play yeah. with the other dogs. Yeah. They were too young to play with the other dogs. And we was like, why are they over here? And it was like, they're still getting, they're getting their vaccines and they're just too young to play. And I'm like, okay. So we end up falling in love with a little brown one. And he kind of reminded me of Drizzy a little bit. So I was like, oh, and they were just playing and rolling around. And I was like, I want that one, that one right there. And Sam was like, yeah, I like that, that one too. That was a little Drizzy right there. <laughs> <laughs> and it did look just like Drizzy. So I was like, okay. And then we started like playing with him and he was just licking our hand. And I was like, oh, the you thing, like us. The thing that made us like, really see him is because all the other dogs were barking he was just over there like just chilling chilling like, wasn't playing. barking i don't even think i heard him bark the whole time that we, that we was there he wasn't barking and then he came right up to us like standing up like wanting to play licking us and all that so it was like yeah you want to go home with us don't you little dog Come and i on. was like um he gonna be the way he was playing with the other dogs and stuff i was like yeah drizzy gonna like him <laughs> They gonna be perfect for each other. I'm just tired of playing catch with Drizzy. I'm sorry, I love that's too much work. That's my that's my dog, literally. But he always bringing us his toy to throw. I'm like, uh, uh Drizzy, I can't do this all day. It is to another. And he to don't get another. tired like Kevin Gates. He don't get tired. <laughs> so the next steps, we got a somebody does like come and does a, a home check. They check your house to make sure it's suitable to adopt the pet. And once they do that, then you're supposed to get your pet. And then we bring them back and like two or three months when he's old enough so he can get neutered and yeah, yeah they said that um they give him the back all his vaccines and all his shots and stuff and we forgot to mention that it's 600 pesos for the process so 600 pesos is about 30 35 dollars somewhere around there yeah. so that's the adoption fee 35 usd like that's not too bad and they already gave him vaccines and they still gonna neuter him and all of that that's yeah. i feel like that's a really good deal yeah i do too so i'm like okay so next step we gave him the information we like let's get this process started they was like today is what when tuesday 
Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. They was like, um, you know, the process does take a few days because like Sam said, they do have to come to your house to inspect it to make sure it's good. But by Saturday, we can have our puppy. So and Jersey will be leaving us alone. <laughs> First thing we doing is taking him to Human Animal so he can get a bath and need, all of that. We need the extensive bath times two. <laughs> we want the dermatology. We want the bath that's gonna get all the everything. He needs to be filth. cut. Like he needs to be groomed. All of that. Him and Jersey gonna be there together. Brush his teeth. All that. So yeah. Clean his paws off. All that. Yeah. So it was very fun. I really enjoyed. It. I'm glad Sam found that place because I was a little skeptical at first, but it all worked out. <laughs> Guys, yep, I just and wanted y'all to know we got another dog on the way. And until next time.